This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hey guys, welcome back to this uh, brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create animated infographics or colorful loading animation inside of DaVinci Resolve. So this is Vikash for Skyline Motions and without any further ado, let's take a new project and get started. Alright, so here we are in the DaVinci Resolve 16 and before we get started, we have to do some basic settings. So just click on this setting button and set the size of this project 1920 by 1080. Let's go with any frame rate. So in this case, I'm using this 60 frame per second and we have to set this playback frame rate equal to this timeline frame rate. So I'm going to set this value 60 and click on save. And I'm going to create this motion graphics inside of this uh, fusion page. So we have to take a new fusion composition first. So just go to this uh, media pool, right click on that and click on this new fusion composition. And let's call it anything. So I'm going to call it fusion comp and set the duration of this composition five seconds long and set this frame rate 60 click on create. And just drag this fusion comp on the timeline, just like this. And then go to your fusion page. And here we have this media out. So just drag this media out node to the side for now and let's take a text node. So click on this T button to add a text node and we have to create a new time slider like this. So you can add the time slider over here also, but I want to create a different time slider node. So I'm going to use this rectangle and just drag this rectangle to the viewer. Hit F2 on the keyboard to rename and let's call it control. Hit OK and right click on this control, click on this edit controls and here we have to set the name first. So I'm going to call it time slider. Leave the ID as it is, type number, page user and check this option animate table because we have to animate the slider and here we have to set the range. So I want to start from 0 to 100. So set this value 0 to 100 and set the default value 0 and this is most important thing check this integer box otherwise you will get the number in points select this slider control and in this view control we have to select any parameter so I'm going to use this angle control and here set this value 50 and hit OK and just go to this user page and here we get this time slider as you can see. So I'm going to use this time slider to create animated number. So just select this text node and go to this inspector window and click on this option pin and pin this property on this inspector window and select this controller. And here we have to connect this time slider with this styled text. So right click on this styled text and click on this expression. And I'm going to connect this uh, styled text with this uh, time slider. All right. And drag this text to the viewer. Unpin this text one here and double click on this controller. And now let's animate the time slider. So just go to very first frame of this animation right click on time slider click on animate and go to the end of this animation and set this time slider value 100 so before we proceed further let me tell you this video is sponsored by a skillshare a skillshare is an online learning community for creatives where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey a skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creatives and curious people on the topic including illustration design photography video freelancing and more a skillshare offer creative classes designed for real life and all the circumstances that comes with it these lessons can help you to stay inspired, express yourself and introduce you to a community of millions. You can check out this simple character animation course on Skillshare by Fraser Davidson and learn more about the animation and its principle. A Skillshare is also very affordable for everyone. It's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription and also I have a good news for you guys. The first thousand people to use the link given in the description will get free trial of a Skillshare premium membership. Just go to the link in the description and check this out. It's completely free. 
all right and after that select this text one and go over here and select your favorite font style so in this case i am using gotham font style and set the size of this text something around 0 0.225 and now let's type a percentage over here so for that we need to add one more text node so click on this t button to add a text node and type percent select same font style so i'm going to use gotham drag this text to to the viewer and here we have to increase the size of this so i'm going to set this uh, value something around 0.2 all right and now let's merge both the outputs so connect the output of this text 2 with this text 1 and we get this new merge and just drag this merge 1 to the viewer and just select this text 2 and set this percentage right over here or go to very first frame of this animation at 0 and just set it like this and here as you can see there is a problem it's overlapping on the percentage text so how to fix this just select this text one and go to this inspector window and here we have h anchor so for the text one we have to select this h anchor to the right side and for the text two we have to select this h anchor to the left side all right and after that go to very first frame of this animation and just set this percentage right over here and now it's perfect as you can see and after that we have to create animated circle so click on this background button to add a background node drag it to the viewer hit f2 on the keyboard to rename call it alpha and right now we have a black background so make it transparent so just go to this uh, inspector window and here down this alpha value to zero and make it transparent and select this alpha node hit control plus a space bar for search box and search for paint hit add button and just drag this paint to the viewer and after that right click on this uh, preview window go to guide and turn on the guide click on this polyline button and go to the center of this grid and right click on that go to polyline stroke one polyline go to create and create an ellipse hit ok select this paint go to this uh, modifier and here open this brush control and select this circular brush and set the size 0.02 it's perfect close this brush control close this apply control and open this stroke control and here we have to animate this start point so just go to the end of this animation right click on start click on animate and go to the very first frame of this animation and just drag this slider right over here all right but I want to place this starting point over here. So we have to rotate this uh, circle. So I'm going to set this angle value negative 90. And now it's uh, perfect. And after that, let's colorize it. So we have to take a background node. So just drag this background on this uh, floor window and hit F2 on the keyboard to rename and call it uh, gradient select this gradient drag it to the viewer and go to this inspector window and here we have to change this type solid color to gradient and let's pick a nice gradient color like this and after that let's place this gradient color inside of this uh, circular shape so we have to take a new merge node and connect this yellow background point with this paint one and green foreground point with this gradient and drag this merge two to the viewer select this merge and go to this inspector window and here we have to change this operator over to in and we get this type of effect and after that select this gradient and set this gradient point right over here and set this uh, second gradient point over here maybe all right and now let's animate the color so select this uh, merge to add a color corrector node just drag this color corrector to the viewer hit f2 on the keyboard call it color hit ok and select this color and 
just go to the end of this animation and set this hue value one right click on hue click on animate or you can also click on this diamond button to animate this uh, hue property and go to very first frame of this animation and just drag this slider on left hand side and here we get this animated color and let's set this saturation value something around 1.5 maybe now it's looking perfect and now we have to add one more effect for this so select this color hit control plus a space bar for search box and search for glow add this glow node drag this glow to the viewer and let's do some setting so select this glow go to this inspector window and here let's down this glow value something around 0.5 and glow size 22 maybe all right now it's looking much more interesting just drag this control right over here just take a merge node and connect this yellow background point with this green foreground point with this glow and drag this merge 3 to the viewer go to the end of this animation and now let's down the size and position of this number so select this merge 1 click on this transform button hit f2 on the keyboard call it uh, transform select this transform let's down the size a bit and set it in center go to fit and set it to 100 percent and after that let's create a black background for this circular shape so we have to take a background node so just take a new background drag it over here hit f2 on the keyboard call it bz for background let's attach an ellipse mask with this so select this one add an ellipse mask drag it over here place it like this and we have to take a merge node so take a merge node and use this background as a background and this output as a foreground so connect this yellow background point with this green foreground point with this merge 3 and just drag this merge 4 to the viewer select this ellipse and click on fit and just set it like this and select this ellipse go to this inspector window and here uncheck this solid box let's set this border width something around 0.023 click on this 100 percent and just set it in center like this and now it's perfect and finally we have to attach a background so just take a new background node take a new merge node and foreground point with this uh, merge 4 and this background point with this background and just drag this merge 5 to the viewer select this background and let's pick a gray color maybe like this click on fit button but we have to do one more thing just go to very first frame of this animation select this transform and click on this 100 percent again and set this animated number in the center of this so maybe set this uh, value 0.5 all right and now we have to animate this one so right click on this uh, center x position click on animate and go to on nine percent over here and add one more keyframe over here and go to 10 percent and again keep this number in the center of this circle all right go to 19 percent add one more keyframe go to 20 percent again set it in the center of this circle like this just go over here 39 percent add one more keyframe go to one forty second just set it again in the center now it's looking perfect and go to on 99 percent Add one more keyframe and go to the end of this animation and just set this 100% in the center of this. 
finally we have to connect this media out with this merge 5 so connect this merge 5 with this media out and then go to your edit page and here our animation is ready for render as you can see all right so just go to very first frame of this animation right over here turn on the loop button and let's take a look all right so it's looking nice and that's all for this tutorial guys i hope you like it if you like it then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified when i will upload my new video and i will see you in next tutorial till then bye bye